Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to properly clean and sterilize used spore or liquid culture syringes. I've been using this technique for the last year with nothing but success, and hopefully you'll be able to do the same thing. Uh, one of the problems I have with uh, mycology is the amount of single-use plastic, so hopefully this technique will be able to resolve some of that. We're going to remove the blue cap, we're going to get a clean glass of water, and suck up 12 milliliters. I'm going to give it a little shake, and squeeze it into an empty glass. We're going to repeat this process to ensure there's no mycelium or spores remaining. After that, we're going to remove the top. We're going to get a clean piece of paper towel, dry it off, and ensure there's nothing remaining on it. We're going to do something similar to the bottom, but we're going to use a Q-tip. Then after that, we're going to let them both sit out for 24 hours to ensure they're 100% dry. After that, we're going to reattach them. We're going to put the cap back on and we're going to get a mason jar. We're going to place however many clean syringes we have. Then we're going to get the cap. We're going to put the lid on upside down. We're going to lightly seal it to ensure it won't pull a vacuum. We're going to then cover it with um, a piece of aluminum foil and pressure cook it for 30 minutes at 15 psi as you would for agar or any other liquid culture. After that, they should be 100% sterile and ready to go for any application you desire. Here is a jar that I have recently done and all these syringes are sterilized and ready to go.